Ding dong, bing bong. It's time to wake up, you losers. Good. And morning, we must everyone. kill again. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Another beautiful day full of death, murder, and sadness. Despair. Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall, like usual. The dining hall or the canteen, whatever you want to call it. Why aren't you why aren't you in the dining hall, oi? Hey Makoto. Good morning, you're kinda sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yup, me and Sakura during our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room until it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I'm sorry, I'm not physically fit. I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Ah, uh, seriously? Uh. Okay, then we can ca we can do something in the rec room. Uh, I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... I don't really think you <laughs> I don't really think you like to think when you do a lot of things, Oli. She's pretty much the airheaded person or the airheaded person of this entire group. The only thing she's good at or excels at is uh, exercise. So, the people here today are the same as yesterday, just us seven. Byakuya and Toko are lost cause, but it looks like Taka decided to stop coming for good, too. It's just like he's just given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there were some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there, either. But... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. I have to make a new rule. Using Alter Ego without permission is prohibited. I'm pretty sure Hifumi tried to do that. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? That's a good question. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Uh-oh. Busted. N no, it's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. Uh, huh? huh, huh. huh? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. Oh, let me guess, it's that time again. What should I do today? Uh, more meaningless bullshit. I guess we should... I guess we should go try the Mono Mono machine. Get some presents for the ladies. We have like 138 Monokuma coins, so that should be more than enough. To the Mono Mono machine. Surprised nobody else really seems to use this. Don't you guys know that you can get rare, unique items from all over the world? You never know what you'll find in here. Let's give that a shot. Alright, let's give it a shot. Hell yeah. Spin that Monokuma machine. Every time I play this game, I keep forgetting how to put coins into this thing. For some reason, I think it's up on the analog stick, but it's actually down. Alright, let's put it in five coins and see what we get. Oh my god! What is that? That looks like a Toho character. Uh... A tape? We got like a tape or something, I don't know. Like so, or some kind of cassette tape, I guess. I guess that's what that is. Oh my god, it's the princess. It looks like an amiibo, but it's a princess figure. The, the pumpkin head princess or whatever the fuck she's called. I know who, who the hell would like that. 
And that looks like a comic book, I guess. Why did we get lucky from that? How dare you? We must get lucky every time. We are the ultimate lucky student, after all. Oh, come on. We got a golden gun. We don't get lucky for getting that. It's probably not real gold, but whatever. Who cares? What the fuck is that thing? I can't even describe what that thing is. Alright, let's try one more time. Then we'll have enough presents. Oh, come on. That's just like instant lunch or something. Okay, one more fucking time because I want to get something good. Uh, you know what? I don't know what that is, but we're just going to live with it. Fine. Should probably get going. Kyoko, where did you go? I will find you wherever you go. She's probably on the third floor. Everybody's on the third floor. It's a fucking party up here. Let's go. Let's go over there. Go over there and uh, talk to my wafu. Why can't I go up these stairs? Fuck you, Monokuma. Unlock this shit. Okay, wait, where, where the fuck was she? Maybe she- wait, wait, I think she was in the lab. Maybe. Let's check the lab. Okay, it seems like nobody's hanging out in here. Who- I don't know, I guess- oh wait, there she is. She's hiding. Go away from me, Makoto. I don't want to talk to you. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Hell yeah, we should. Correct. You want to spend time with me? But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Perfectly okay. We can spend time in awkward silence. I spent some time with, with Kyoko in silence. I was joking. Holy shit. I was right about that. And so we just didn't say anything to her. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today by saying nothing to each other and just kind of standing around awkwardly. <laughs> what would you like to give Kyoko as a... Would you like to give her a present? Yes, we would. What would we like to give to her? We've got plenty of things. Got potato chips. Everybody loves potato chips. Royal curry. Oh, hey, it's royal curry, so only the finest, I guess. G sick. What the fuck is this? Hold on. The most popular consider it or er, that yeah, most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its poor quality. Oh, okay. Well, don't want to give her that. Roller slippers. I don't think she would like. I don't think she'd like roller slippers. Water lover. No, that's that's for Ollie. Adorable reactions collection. What? What? A DVD that contains footage of people reacting to various pieces of art. Why is there a DVD of that? Who cares? Oh my God, this art. A dandelion toy. You can blow the fluff away and still be attached to the back. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay, let's 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 give her that. So this is something you don't see too often. Do you mind if I keep it? I'd like to take a closer look at it. Does that mean she liked it? Uh usually it does. Oh, Kyoko. How how do you stay Um God damn it, the text box fucked up again. That's supposed to be Makoto saying that, isn't it? Cuz like he's talking to Kyoko or unless Kyoko's talking about herself in the third person. That's happened a few times, I guess. I've never noticed that with this game until I started doing a playthrough of it. That's weird. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. You say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. N no, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I don't believe you. Prove it. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kinds of circumstances. That's well, we you should do. consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I can say to get a reaction out of her? In other words, protect against the protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings? But... But that's such a waste! What? Hmm? Your smile is just so cute. Oh, God. <laughs> Hiding it behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. What? Wh what are you talking about? I've never gotten... I've never... I don't remember him asking her... Talking to her about this when I... When I played this game before. Wow, Makoto, you're pretty bold. 
get cute, it's much too sudden to be bringing up things like that. Ah, looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? what? You, Makoto, you... You, you deceived me! Huh? Wait! Why? I don't believe this! To use the word cute to deceive someone! Do you think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Or just call people cute on the internet? It's bullshit! That's just too cruel! S sorry I got carried away. But but still, I did deceive I did deceive you, but it's not like I was a, it was a total lie. You see how easily you yourself are deceived? Huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that, completely out of character. Oh, well yeah, kind of was for Makoto. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy? What? You mean I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked. Yeah, I'm, I was surprised that, Mako that uh, not Makoto, but uh, Kyoko actually fell for that. I guess I should have known better. Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. And her report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Nat nu Neural Liberation. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. So yeah, I just pat myself on the back. I, I earned that pat on the back. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to my room. Well, I guess we have more free time, probably. I've still got some time. What should I do? Ding dong. Huh? Sounds like someone's here. No more free time for you, bitch. Answer the door. Time to solve another murder. Uh, well, hey there, Taka. T Taka. I cannot speak. I is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? N no, not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. T Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Oh, this is not a good idea. We're breaking the rules. Kyoko, what do, we th what do you think about us breaking the just rules? Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Y yeah I know that. But I was getting the ki but I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could ha head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Yeah, there's plenty of food in the warehouse, obviously. Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Probably not, considering Kyoko. Yeah, we can go to the warehouse and get some of that Dunkin' Donuts that Monokuma is having shipped over here. However the fuck he gets the donuts. I don't know. Um, oh right, the bathhouse. Let's just, uh, sneak in there. Where is the porn? I need it! I've been deprived of it for far too long! Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Uh, oh, um... Well, you just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it for I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Uh, okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them, and then... Let me ask you a question. So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape, all of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. 
so that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? <laughs> A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do! Th that's... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data that about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed? Take the time to indulge your regrets? You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. What if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? <laughs> Taka? I feel this power inside me. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. Ugh, Super Saiyan! Seriously though, what happened to your hair? T Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. I'm a new me. Ugh, I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Uh, okay, Taka, just calm down. I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's... that's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. H hey, Taka, hold on. And I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. Yep, I knew it. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? K Kyoko! Oh, uh, no. See, this is just... Enough Don't already. go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. S sorry Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here, now. Okay. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. And it's night time again. All the doors are locked, kids! <coughs> no escape! It is now we know, Monokuma, you don't have to tell us again like you do every night. It's night time already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time for sleep. And time for another Monokuma Theater. What is it? What could it be this time? You want to know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend. But unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video game, Call of Battlefield 3. They sat there lost in the game, pressing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. Wow. I don't even know who that could be. Because I feel like these are each of the students' uh, like inner thoughts or something, but I have no idea who that is. I... I want to say Oi? Maybe? Good maybe day, uh, maybe it actually is, is Monokuma's. No, there's no way it's actually Monokuma. Or who who is whoever really is behind Monokuma Get that is. Uh-huh. God, if I heard this announcement every morning and then 
announcement every night. I think I'd go insane already. Not not just from the murders, but from that too. Alright, I need to hurry and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taki yesterday. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'm pretty sure he'll, uh, he'll barge in and let everybody know. I'm pretty sure everybody actually already knows that Taka's personality is totally different. Just, it's, it's hard to ignore something like that. Oh, okay. I guess nobody's here. Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead? To where? We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. What? Bath? Oh, right. I just forgot for a minute. Like, yeah, that's right. We need to convene. Oh, thanks. What the fuck? Yeah! Someone help! Yafumi, what's going on? Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! Wh what happened? She she's trying to kill me! Ifumi, pa Ifumi pointed at. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. Uh, Kyoko, are you trying to commit another murder? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Oh god. And he had his pants down. What? what were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since the being subtle didn't work, I suppose I have to clarify myself further. <laughs> Please don't kill me! I'm not going to kill you, merely instruct you. How very uh. Okay then. Talk to Kyoko again? What? I just want him to explain himself. Oh. Oh. Hifumi? Do you want to explain yourself? Um, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well, well, well I was just talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? I, I mean, you see, talking to her was just so much fun, and I, I just... Whoa, okay. Time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but... Hifumi, you're not going to tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Ha! <laughs> huh, that I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love, that's... Well, Wait, no way! Is, seem... is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. Bill Gates was pleased with what I had to say about his future. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. What the fuck? <laughs> How about that? In your eyes just now, I saw the same look in his eyes. Shut up! Thing. She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! I feel and don't bother is. telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Yeah, you're totally in love. So, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. Oh, God. But, but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was well, a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. But she's definitely not a normal girl. Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Your stories are so interesting, Hifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's That's why I was just... So happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> oh yeah, stroke those keys. I think you have misunderstood the situation, Ifumi. Are you Alter okay Ego was not interested in you for who you were. It was interested in you what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. 
You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about, for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. I, I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless, or...? You gotta be freaking kidding me! Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you j guys jibber-jabber it on about whatever! Oh, Taka, are you back? Who the hell's Taka? Um, you? Listen up! I'm me! Got it? What the huh? Heck? You're who? Don't bullcrap me! Isn't it obvious? I'm Kyo Taka and Mondo. So, so like Kyo Yondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. Oh no, that, I didn't know the Amazing Atheist was in here. What, what the what the heck kind of fusion is this? What, what's happened to you, Taka? Uh, actually, I told everyone what had happened the day before. Well, so because of what Alter Ego said to him. Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. G -g ghost There's no such thing! What are y'all whining about? Come on! God, you're really cheesing me off! Hey, Hifumi! I yes I don't know what you're thinking, but... Bro belongs to me! Huh? Alter Ego. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, fudge an idiot. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has brought me and her together in the Gordian Knot of True Love. Well, me and him have been molded together in the white-hot heat of friendship! Uh, hey, come on, you guys. Moron! Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. Well, I'll punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Knock it off, both of you. This doesn't belong to any one person, and Shihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me. I don't think anybody wants that. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? I can't hear you. I y yes. G got it. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. We're just gonna booby trap this room or something. <laughs> After watching Hifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Oh, is it free time again? It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my day? Obviously, spend it fucking around, doing nothing of importance. Maybe we should talk to Oi this time, see what she has to talk about. She'll probably give us more skills, too. Ah, uh, fuck you, Fumi. We'll, we'll t we're not gonna talk to him at all. He'll just be forever alone. Let's see, where, where are you, Oi? Not Toko. Fuck you, Toko. I don't think we have talked to Taka. Have we talked to Taka? No, we never have actually talked to him. Uh, we'll, we'll leave Taka be for now. I think if we talk to him, he might try to kill us. No, is Kyoko the only one in here? I thought I thought Oi was in here, too. Oh, wait, no. Oh, she's in the hallway. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, there, there she is. Holy shit. I was, it said like she was near the physics lab. That threw me off. The opposite of possible isn't impossible. It's challenge. That's the quote from the famous baseball player Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember, this is just a challenge. We, ha we can't give up. Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Yep. Spend some time with Asahina. 
She probably doesn't have anything interesting to talk about except for swimming or exercising. Okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. Yuna and I walked aimlessly around the school. Without saying anything to each other, Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes, we would. We have the perfect thing to give her, too. We have, like, a bathing suit. Now I just have to find it. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Water lover. What? I can keep this, right? Right? Yay! Ultra stoked! Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh man, oh man! What's up? I'm getting totally fired up! What? How come? How come does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race! Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. Huh? Hey, are you making fun of me? N no I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was all like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. But if you lose on to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist and then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. What? I call it... I call it, uh... What do you call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin? Let's take a shot at this. Uh, I've never heard of this. What the f Towel treatment? Bamboo beatdown or yoga. I don't think that's yoga. I don't know what the fuck bamboo beatdown is. But it sounds... It sounds like some kind of a porn. Something... <laughs> uh, towel treatment. Let's just go with that. Is it something like towel treatment? You oh my god, yeah, that's it! Who the fuck does that? <laughs> I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind of my skin. <laughs> yeah, nobody notices that, I would think. That, that why, What the fuck? God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down, and you were okay with that? You should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. Okay then. So we're not we're, we're probably not going to talk to Asahina again because <laughs> it just turns out to be a really huge uh, uh it's, it's killed my brain cells a little bit. I'll say. <laughs> what the fuck? After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Hey, we should try that sometime. Obviously it works, Rub it, rubbing a towel against your your bare skin. I still have some time, of course. I feel like I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. Okay then. Well I guess I guess let's go talk to uh Kyoko again. Hopefully she's still in the same place she was. Oh wait. Oh she's she's in the first floor. Wow, so I don't have to go all the way up to the third. She's somewhere on the first floor. It said she was in the hallway. Oh. Oh, there's Toko. The one person I don't- Oh, that's not Toko. Fuck, that's the genocide gel. Oh, there's Kyoko. God, she's like always hidden away somewhere. It's like she doesn't want you to find her. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a little rabbit? Don't you have anything to do? Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yeah, we should. Certainly. Don't you have anything better to do than talk to me, you baka? There's no reason to decline, and I'm not the type to decline anyway. Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. I spent some time with Kyoko. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. 
Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Again, yes we should. I have plenty of presents, but I'm not sure which one she would like. I know, let's give her potato chips. Or a man's fantasy. <laughs> Hold on, what, what, what is this? A wash basin intended to give you the courage to seek out a true man's fantasy, specifically in public bathhouses. Okay, I don't, I don't want to know. Novelist fountain pen. No, uh, that's something we gave Toko. Okay, what is this thing? Flip the switch on the bottom of the set uh, to set the doll shaking. Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. I don't really either. I feel like she probably would like something like that, though. Millennium Prize Problems, Assure His Tears. <clears throat> uh, antique Doll. A porcelain doll. Due to the exquisite craftsmanship of the doll and its clothing, many people still collect and prize them to this very day. Huh? Okay, well, let's try that. Well, now, this is interesting. I must admit, I'm intrigued. Can I hold on to it? I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. And now it's time to talk about some dark shit. Whatever that is. Can we finish this already? Huh? Finish? So... If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. That's what you believe, isn't it? W well yeah, but... Hey. I understand why you feel that way, but... When it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? Why? So... Because I don't have anything to talk to you about. Does that mean you don't trust me? If you get too involved with someone, you're apt to lose any sense of good judgment. I learned that do. lesson myself all too well. Personal experience is a ruthless teacher. Personal experience? Hey. Surely by now you've noticed what I always wear. Something unique to me. What is Kyoko always wearing? Uh, well, that's pretty obvious. Gloves. It's those gloves, right? Indeed. That's right. But why did you bring them up? Does it have something to do with getting involved with, like you mentioned? So... Simply put. There was a time when I grew attached to someone, and made a bad decision. I was forced to learn a very powerful lesson, and these gloves are a daily reminder of that. So on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. Sorry, but I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me any more about it? Maybe then I could... However. I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. The end. So then... I never got to learn anything about her, about how she feels. Anyway, don't get too depressed over all this. The reason I'm not willing to talk about it isn't because I don't trust you. In fact, I do have faith in you, which is why I decided to tell you what I have. Correct. I want you to understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you myself, just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That long? Indeed. That's right, and I can't imagine a point where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family would be worthy. Family? Listen. Are you going to volunteer? Huh? Mm -hmm. Got you again. <laughs> you really are foolishly open. She did get me again, and laughed at me again. Well, she'd probably get me too, but... That smile looks genuine. I've never really heard her laugh out loud like that. I think that must be her natural laugh. It is, right? That wasn't fake? So maybe in the end, she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but... To be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. This is... you. In the end, I never really did figure her out. But at least I got a little bit closer. Oh. Hope's peak confidential. I guess we get that for... Maxing out or getting close to maxing out uh, talking with Kyoko or what. I don't even know if there's a way to max that out, but I guess that's when you get uh, enough skill points with them and you can't get any more, I would guess. Possibly that has something to do with it. After we finished up, I went back to my room. And it is the nighttime announcement again. We know, Monokuma. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today.
Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year, I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating, so... Once again, Happy New Day! Well, that was short. I wonder who that could be, actually, I have no idea. Maybe... Maybe Taka. Or not Taka, well, it could be Taka. I was gonna say him or Yasuhiro, I guess. Good morning. Blah 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 blah. I better get to the dining hall. Again. For the nth time. To the dining hall. I'll bet nobody's there. Could be wrong though. There might be people. Or maybe just Yasuhiro. Nope. Only a few people actually. Taka and Kyo. Taka and Kyoko aren't here today. You know? Kyoko's Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. I have no idea about Taka. Me as well just forget about that guy. You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Don't put me on the same level as that that virgin. It might I might catch his virginity. You already have that. But... Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Yep. Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food... <laughs> oh, hey, look who it is again. Ooh. Huh? That voice! The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Genocide Jill. Is she gonna kill somebody again? So, in the end. so it's you, Genocide Jack, and... Enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Well, she always stalks me, so... I'll give you a hint. I'm we I'm wearing red lingerie today. Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Hold on a second, you. Huh? What's your top power level? Like, 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top and try to look thinner down south. Look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Y you're starting to freak me out! No. If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. So, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Or talk about boobs. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Because of certain circumstances. Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. Wh what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? Th that's not what we're doing. That's well, fine. whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. But perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? It seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant you then I will grant your desire and remove myself. Mm, yeah. yeah, let's get out of here! You don't need to come with me. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. Ew. Oh, god damn. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't think you want to know, Byakuya. Byakuya started to slowly back out of the room. He started to pick- he started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He ran away? So now he's running hard to get- so now he's running hard to get? I see. Wait, 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 wait! Yeah! So, so, at the end there, what was that all about? 
just um, now, Byakuya was like... Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast, then we went back to our rooms. So is anything gonna happen today? Or are we gonna? What we're gonna go? We're we're going to go through free time again, aren't we? We're just gonna do that the rest of the day. Fuck! There's so much of this now. I don't mind it, but holy shit! You know, I'm glad the anime kind of left some of this out because it feels like a lot of filler. I mean, yeah, there's some sufficient character development here and there, but at the same time, it's like, okay, we know quite a bit about uh, most of them already, I would hope. Alright, well, I guess we better go get some more presents because we're running out of those. I guess we should, um, I guess we should try talking to Taka today, see if he has anything interesting to say. Or what we get for talking to him, I guess. Oh! I guess we got a diamond ring? And, uh, oh, we st we had that radio, we have, I, I thought we already had that old radio, or... Either that or we gave it to somebody. What else can we get from here? Uh, what the hell is that? What was that? I don't even know what that was. I don't know, whatever it was, it got us uh, lucky. Lucky, oh, we, we already have that. Now we have two of those things. It looks like a memo pad. Uh, and a cat charm, I guess? Oh. What the f- Okay. I, I don't know what's, what half of these things are, really. Okay, one more time. Aw, oh, fuck! We st that was the same thing we already had. It was like instant, instant ramen or something. It was some instant lunch. Okay, donut. Oh my god. Well, we knew who liked that. Okay, we got enough. Let's leave. Who should we talk to? Let's let's try to find. Can we? Let's see if we can find Taka. Where did he go? Yep. Oh, he's in uh, class three A. I think the classrooms were... Oh, no, they're not over here. They were over this way, maybe? No, that's that's the lab. And that's to the, th to the fourth floor, which we cannot access yet. Where are the classrooms? Maybe they're back here? No, oh, it's the stairs. Oh, okay, 3A, he should be in here. I'm gonna find it, Taka. Where'd you go? Despair Squadron Monokuma. <laughs> I love some of this art, this random art everywhere in the classrooms. What are you? What are you guys? A bunch of fudging lemmings? I'm strong, 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 strong. I'm gonna shoot up to the top, and I'm gonna shoot to the top of the butt kicking class. Maybe I should leave him alone. Oh, we can spend free time with him. Okay. Well, fuck you too game I wanted I wanted to see what the uh, the new taco was like okay then well who else is there at least somebody that we don't spend a lot of free time with already oh wait wait Celeste where's Celeste oh she's in the rec room okay and that is right behind us there it is What are you doing in here, Celeste? Maybe we shouldn't lose some more of our money to you. Ah, Makoto, how are you? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Indeed. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? No, not again. She's just here to take our money. <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. And we lost all our money to Celeste. Celeste gave me the business. 
Celeste and I grew a little closer today, and she grew a lot closer with our money. Would you like to give Celeste a present? She already has our money, what else do you fucking want? <laughs> okay. Do we have anything to give her? Potato chips? Let's give her potato chips. Just kidding. We don't even have potato chips. Royal curry. I feel like it would have to be something really expensive for her to be impressed by it. A curry pack made for kids. Oh. It's made with expensive high quality ingredients you wouldn't expect from a kid's food. I don't know about that. Ration. Flotation. Flotation donut. Kitten Aircliff, I don't think she'd like that. Zoll's Diamond. I feel like she'd like something like I feel like she'd like this. A brand name diamond popularly used in engagement rings, although this one's just an imitation. Eh, let's try it. So, I can have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. Huh, this is more... This The more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Yeah, you are just a total gold digger, aren't you? Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Let's Say, Makoto, do you like Mahong? Um, I've never actually played it. Most is that so? A pity. I was hoping we might play together. Are you good at it? Yes, good? Indeed. No, I am not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette Mahong and won. Russian Roulette? You don't know what Russian roulette is, Makoto? Jesus Christ, you're sheltered. It was a truly fierce contest put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponent was a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. We played with a modified rule set. I remember well the glass tiles we used. And you won? I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted looks on their faces. Ah, uh, wow, the... They fucked up the grammar there. The crowd that been invited to watch? Do you mean the crowd that had been invited to watch? The crowd that had been invited to watch became positively riotous. Nobody could believe I had won. Hmm, <laughs> that is one of my fonder memories. I'm really glad I didn't agree to play Mahong with her. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't agree to play anything with her, really. You'll just lose all your money. And her report card has been updated. Oh, we increased our maximum number of skill points so we can get more. Hell yeah, look at you go. But we didn't get any new skills, motherfucker. <gasps> Unable to comprehend Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Wow, Makoto, you can be a pussy sometimes, can't you? I don't want to hear about your past, it's so scary. <laughs> I still have some time. I can't just sit around doing nothing, I should go find something to do. Uh, again. Okay, well, we can't go a day without talking to Kyoko, at least. I don't know. <clears throat> I want to try to change it up a bit and s with uh, who we talk to. We can't talk to Taka. We've talked to Yasuhiro. I'm not too en enthused about talking to Yasuhiro. Uh, Sakura or Oi. I've never really talked to Sakura. I don't really want to. I've already talked to... Uh, Celeste. Hifumi. Eh, Hifumi can stay there. Um. Byakuya. Fuck Byakuya. Okay, so that only leaves Kyoko. The obvious option. The, the, what we should have went, gone with in the first place. Where the hell is she now? She was over here before. The hardest part is finding these fucking people after you talk to somebody the first time because they all, like, change where they. where they, Um, they all go to different areas. Okay, here she is. Ellipsis, did you need something from me? Just hours of your time? Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Spend some time with Kyoko? So... I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. Fine, fine then, why don't we take a little break? I spent some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. And we grew closer, again. And we should also give her more presents, because... What is friendship without giving people presents every time you talk to them? We should just be an asshole and give her a man's fantasy. <laughs> I don't know, she might like that, you never know. Oh, vice. Vice, that's what that was. Let's give her the vice. A tool used to grip or stabilize materials like metal to shape and fix it. Somehow the name conveys a strong sense of power. Eh. Kyokishi Dynamo. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, Millennium Prize problems. Okay, there's weren't memos. I thought because they look like memos. 
Adventurous Tears, Old Timey Radio, Self Destructing Cassette. What? Once you record a message onto this, it set up, it sets up a chemical reaction that will destroy a tape, the tape in a few seconds after it's played. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if she'd like that. Golden gun. A replica of the gun preferred by a famous assassin. It's not really much good by itself. You can't even cock it. I think she might like this. Let's give that to her. No, she did. Well, now, this is interesting. I must admit, I'm intrigued. Can I hold on to it? I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Okay, well, that did nothing for us. That didn't even get us skill points or anything. Good to know we just wasted our time. Huh? There's something by the door. Okay, well, now something's about to happen. That's good. This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under under my door. Uh, yeah, well, I guess. They could do that. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly. Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling it... What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. To the dining hall! I'll bet Monokuma's gonna be there. Hello there, children, boys and girls. Would you like me to serve you up some murder? Oh, Makoto. Hero. Then the letter I found in my room. You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko, Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Uh, no thanks. Huh? Okay, let's do it. N no, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Oh, right. I, I, every time they mention taking a bath, I, I keep forgetting that... Oh, yeah, right, we are supposed to meet in the bathhouse now. Instead, I just think he wants to take a bath. He actually wants to take a bath with us, and it's kind of like... No, I don't want to see that. Then, did Alter Ego finish his search? Y you got it, Hero. Let's take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Um... I <laughs> I'm just looking at Taka standing in the middle like he's like... He's like lording over everybody like, Yes, I am, all I am your master. You will bow before me, peasants. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's t it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Ch shut up! What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours. You know that? <laughs> How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Oh. Hmm. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up. I'll post about it on Tumblr, you know. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So, what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's got to have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's yeah, right. totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Okay, so I guess we should uh, talk to Kyoko about that. What happened, Kyoko? Tell us. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way. You're kidding, right? Oh. Uh, huh? What? She's gone? You know that's a guy, right, Ifumi? 
You can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well, Maybe we just missed it? However, I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But, but if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? what? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Er, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong! It's you! Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Why not? I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Ifumi came into the dressing room. What? What? It was the counter it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard any yell. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But then who was it? So the fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Fumi, then quite simply it was someone else. Makoto, <laughs> Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor amongst us. Huh? Like always, there's always pretty much a traitor. One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. Oh, well, I thought he meant in that somebody's the murderer, but, you know, yeah, that could be a, that could be the case, too. We did see that one scene from uh, the end of the second class trial that kind of implied that. And that's the one who saw Alter Ego. Can you, dis can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. Th there's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care! I don't care who... Like... Someone... Anyone, save her. Please, rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So this is pretty I'm... messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. I think least... Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, if they wanted indeed. to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else. That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her. Using the power of love. <laughs> oh God. Hey, guess what, kids? It's nighttime again. <coughs> yeah, it is. It sure is, Monokuma. It's nighttime. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Call yeah, like men. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. 
If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Yep, but that's not going to come up until later. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yelled that loud. The scary thing, it the scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we are starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all the unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. It's time for the Monokuma Theater! Again! Time for me to talk about stuff and things, or whatever the fuck. We, we always just talk about some the most random fucking shit in the Monokuma Theater. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. That actually is a pretty good point. 